welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, problem three point seven. In this problem, it is given that the solid spindle AB has diameter DS is equal to 1.5 inch and is made of steel with an allowable shearing stress of 12 ksi while sleeve CD is made up of brass with an allowable shearing stress of 7 ksi determine the largest torque that can be applied at A so we have figure 3.7 in which you can see there is a solid spindle AB having diameter DS so we will also write the given data so given data is that uh, diameter of solid spindle is equal to 1.5 inch clear and is made of steel and allowable shearing stress of 12 ksi so allowable shearing stress or maximum we can also write maximum shearing stress is 12 ksi clear but that is in spindle clear uh, solid spindle uh, while sleeve CD is made of brass so you can see that this is sleeve CD that is made up of brass and you can see the outer diameter is given as 3 inch so that is uh, outer D outer of sleeve of sleeve that is equal to 3 inch clear while D inner is equal to D inner is equal to of sleeve is equal to 3 minus 3 is the outer diameter minus 2 times of thickness and thickness is given that is 1 by 4 inch so we can calculate it as well and you have to find the torque T applied at point A clear so that can be applied at point A so we will solve this problem so let's start with its solution so for first for first we will analyze it for first for solid spindle solid spindle AB also you can see that diameter of solid spindle is ds where its radius is equal to half of ds and if you put the value 1 over 2 and ds is equal to 1.5 inch so c will be equal to 0 0.75 inch so if this is the radius of this uh, solid spindle also we know that maximum shear stress our shear stress is equal to tc over j clear and if you put the value of j over here so tc divided by this is equal to pi by 2 c4 clear uh, sorry pi by 2 c4 and if you solve this uh, equation clear for torque uh, so let me that will be equal to t over pi c q into 2 so this torque t torque will be equal to pi into shear stress divided by pi into shear stress into c q divided by 2 or we can say that this torque is equal to pi by 2 shear stress into CQ clear now you have the value you can put it and you can find the torque for solid shaft clear so pi by 2 will be there maximum is 12 ksi so you can put the value of 12 into 10 raised to the power 3 and C is 0 0.75 whole cube so when you calculate the torque in solid shaft comes out to be 7.95 into 10 raised to power 3 pounds into inch so this is the torque in solid shaft now we will find the 
टॉर्क फॉर स्लीव फॉर स्लीव सी डी क्लियर सो वी नो दैट आउटर डायमीटर वॉज थ्री इंच सो सी टू विल बी इक्वल टू डी नॉट ओवर टू विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री ओवर टू एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फाइव इंच ऑल्सो सी वन इज इक्वल टू सी टू माइनस टी सो सी वन इज द रेडियस फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू आउटर दैट इज वन पॉइंट फाइव सो सी सी वन विल बी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फाइव माइनस थिकनेस विच इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर फोर एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव बिकॉज दिस इज फ्रॉम दिस टू दिस दिस इज सी एंड फ्रॉम दिस टू दिस पॉइंट दिस इज सी वन दिस इज सी टू दिस इज सी वन सो सी वन इज वन पॉइंट फाइव इंच माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव दैट इज सी वन विल बी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इंच क्लियर ऑल्सो यू नो दैट फॉर हॉलो शॉफ्ट Uh, let me go down. J for hollow shaft is equal to pi by two c two four minus c one four. Again, you have to put the value of c two and c one. So c two is equal to one point five power four minus one point two five power four. So when you solve it, that will be four point one one seven. Two inch four. Now you have J, and also you know that torque is equal to ta into J divided by C. Clear? Maximum torque that is given as seven uh, ksi. Let me check it again. That is equal to sorry twelve ksi. That is twelve ksi. And J is equal to four point one one seven. Again, sorry, uh, the uh, the shear stress we have given that uh, allowable shear stress for uh, solid was twelve ksi, and for hollow shaft. Sorry, one minute. While allowable shear stress for this sleeve CD is seven ksi, so here allowable shear stress for hollow is seven ksi. So please put the value of shear stress here is seven ksi. So seven into ten is power three multiplied by J is this one four point one one four point one one. Seven two divided by C two, which is one point five. Clear? When you calculate it, it will be nineteen point two one into ten to the power three pounds into inch. Now you have uh, this is torque for hollow shaft and this is torque for uh, solid. This is torque torque for solid shaft and this torque this is torque for Sleeve, you can say sleeve. Clear? So one value is this one, and one value is this one. This one is higher, and this one is smaller. So which one we will select? So we will select the smaller one. We will select smaller value of torque. Which is equal to Again, there is something. The smaller value of R, which is equal to T is equal to seven point nine five into ten ten to the power three. Pound into inch. 
why is the reason for selecting a smaller value of torque because if we select this larger value of torque so shear stress in this solid shaft may exceed 12 ksi which result in the uh, failure of this solid shaft so again we will choose the smallest value because if we choose this smallest torque value so here the sh shear stress will comes out to be smaller than the allowable so it will be safe that's why we use the smaller value of the torque that is 7.95 into 10 to power 3 i hope you have enjoyed the video if you like the video kindly uh, comment sec uh, kindly write down your comments in the section. Thank you.